Google just dropped one of the biggest waves of AI breakthroughs we have seen this year, and everything hit at the same time. DeepMind revealed SEMA 2, a goal-driven agent that thinks through tasks in full 3D worlds and even trains itself. At the same time, a hidden model inside Google AI Studio started showing nearly perfect handwritten text recognition and shockingly clean symbolic reasoning. And right on top of that, Nano Banana 2 leaked again with visuals matching Gemini's internal image engines, remastering low-quality photos and following complex text prompts with almost mechanical precision. All of this landed within days, so let's talk about it. All right, so SEMA 2 is basically the new version of DeepMind's generalist game world agent. The first SEMA, launched last year, already surprised people because it could follow over 600 instructions across different virtual environments. Stuff like turning left, climbing ladders, opening maps, basic movement, basic interactions. It was not perfect at long tasks, though. When DeepMind compared it to real players, SEMA managed around a 31% completion rate on longer, multi-step tasks, while actual players sat closer to 71%. So it did the job, but did not quite hold the bigger picture together. SEMA 2 changes that dynamic. It brings in Gemini as its core reasoning engine, and suddenly the agent is not just following commands anymore. It actually interprets goals, thinks through what steps make sense, explains why it is doing something, and checks its own behavior. DeepMind trained it on human demonstration videos with language labels, then built on top of that with labels generated by Gemini to fill in gaps. With this mix, SEMA 2 almost doubled its performance internally on long horizon tasks and stayed flexible across the different game engines they threw at it. The interesting part is how it generalizes. It can jump into games it was not directly trained on, like Aska, a Viking survival game, or Mind Dojo, which is part of the Minecraft research environment. It handles sketches, emojis, multi-step instructions, and multilingual prompts. It even transfers ideas between worlds. If it figures out how mining works in one environment, it applies that knowledge to harvesting somewhere else without needing extra explanations. In No Man's Sky, for example, the agent read rough terrain, located a distress beacon, and planned the next steps like it had already played the game before. DeepMind pushed the interaction layer even further when they paired SEMA 2 with Genie 3, their real-time world generator. Genie can take an image or a line of text and instantly build a 3D environment around it, and SEMA 2 jumps into those newly generated worlds as if they were normal game levels. It navigates, uses tools, completes goals, and reacts naturally even when the scenes are full of visual noise, trees, benches, scattered objects, mobs, pretty much anything Genie feels like dropping in. And because it is all synthetic, the agent does not rely as heavily on human-generated data. It starts with human demonstrations and then learns through its own self-directed play, where one Gemini model sets challenges, another evaluates attempts, and SEMA repeats until it gets better. That cycle builds new skills in places no human has ever labeled. The long-term angle is obviously robotics, and DeepMind openly connects SEMA 2 to embodied intelligence research. Their team describes it like a hierarchy. SEMA handles the high-level what to do, and a lower system handles joint movement, wheels, manipulators, the mechanical stuff. That setup matches what you see in NVIDIA's Isaac or Meta's Habitat benchmarks. Real-world homes and factories still break agents with clutter, poor lighting, or unpredictable objects. But SEMA too cuts that distance a little bit because the agent understands semantics before motion. Once the understanding is locked in, bringing in precise controllers becomes a more direct engineering problem. But the bigger shift across Google's ecosystem right now is happening on the reasoning side, and this comes from a separate discovery that blew up online. A historian named Mark Humphreys, who normally studies North American history, started experimenting with a mysterious model that popped up inside Google AI Studio during an A-B test. AI Studio sometimes runs silent tests where it gives you two model outputs and asks you to pick the better one. Users believe these tests are the earliest signs of Gemini 3 being evaluated before release. Humphreys uploaded 18th century handwritten materials letters, account books, messy journals. These documents are full of old grammar, inconsistent spelling, smudges, vague symbols, and unclear numbers. Most AI models collapse on this stuff because it's not just about pattern recognition, it's also about historical context and reasoning. The new Google model, however, produced something closer to expert-level interpretation. In older benchmarks, Gemini 2.5 Pro already hit around a 4% character error rate and an 11% word error rate on complex manuscripts, which was impressive. 
This new model dropped the CER to around 0.56% and the WER to about 1.22%. That means roughly one error every 200 characters. But the real shock wasn't the accuracy, it was the reasoning behind the accuracy. In a merchant's journal from 1758, the document listed a sugar purchase written as to one loaf, sugar 145, at 1 slash 40191. The numbers were unclear, especially the 145, which could mean 14 and a half, 1.45, or something else entirely. Almost every AI model misinterprets this type of shorthand and either guesses wrong or formats it wildly. The new model decoded the units, checked the total cost, and concluded by itself that the correct value was 14 pounds 5 ounces. It reached that by converting 1 shilling and 4 pence to 16 pence, calculating that the total of 0 pounds, 19 shillings, and 1 penny equals 229 pence, dividing that by 16 to get 14.3125, then converting the remainder into ounces. It even added the LB and Oz labels on its own. This wasn't just transcription, it was multi-step reasoning across historical units, ambiguous handwriting, and context restoration. Humphrey said it felt as if the model understood the ledger. And the thing is, the model wasn't specifically trained as a symbolic reasoner. It behaves like one simply because the internal representation has reached a level where reasoning emerges as a side effect. Researchers call this emergent implicit reasoning, and multiple people online have started reporting the same behavior in chemical formulas, ancient currency conversions, manuscript date inference, and deeply ambiguous text. If this holds, it means handwritten text recognition and symbolic reasoning, two of the hardest problems in the field, have moved forward at the same time in the same system. For historians, this changes how entire archives can be read and analyzed, since AI can now handle spelling mistakes, vague shorthand, and cultural context without breaking rhythm. At the same time, people want transparency because once AI starts applying its own corrections, its interpretation of history could influence the final understanding. Humphreys points out that AI should work with human researchers, not replace them, because even expert-level reasoning still reflects model biases. And while all this was happening, another part of Google's ecosystem leaked from an entirely different angle. On media.ai, a preview of Nano Banana 2 briefly appeared before the listing was removed. But during that short window, users downloaded multiple sample images, then more examples surfaced on social media from creators like Mars Everything Tech and Leo. The model shows higher fidelity, much sharper detail, and strong consistency, especially in tasks that involve text. It draws long sentences on whiteboards with matching font weight, letter spacing, and layout precision, an area where image models usually break apart. The remastering ability also jumped noticeably. Low resolution or blurry images get reconstructed into something clean, with accurate colors and sharper lines. Some samples suggest that Nano Banana 2 reaches a level close to the new Gemini-based image engines internally tested across Google. The model follows natural language instructions more accurately, handles step-by-step -step prompt logic, and interprets requests that involve both visual content and world knowledge. People highlighted how it handles banners, social media visuals, and even full compositions that would normally require manual Photoshop work. These upgrades matter because creative workflows rely on fast, high-quality assets. If Nano Banana 2 runs through an API with the same performance we're seeing in leaks, content pipelines for media teams get a huge boost. Google hasn't confirmed a release date, but the frequency of leaks, including the brief media.ai access, suggests that the launch is very close and it lines up with Google's pattern of rolling out new Gemini-powered tools in waves. Feels like Google is getting closer to models that actually understand the world instead of just predicting it. Drop your thoughts below, hit subscribe and like if you enjoyed the breakdown, and thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.